And so the, uh, the liquid that's pumped through the ground is pumped up to the, seal, the roof of the school and goes through this six solar panels, which heat the liquid, and then that liquid is pumped back into the ground where it loses its heat. Well, it, it puts its heat back into the ground so that hopefully in the winter, when we're running the heat pump, we'll be pulling warmer liquid out of the ground to keep the heat pump going at a higher rate, higher efficiency. And why would you need to put heat back into the ground? There's a concern that in Fairbanks, if you take a, a lot of heat out of the ground in the, in the winter, it, the sun just doesn't provide enough heat back into the ground and you can eventually create permafrost. I think that's one of the things we're researching here, but uh, we're kind of expecting that pumping all this heat into the ground in the summer is going to make it a more efficient heat pump and we'll just have higher temperatures come out of the ground. So the, uh, the whole system is monitored. We're trying to understand the, C, the COP, the efficiency of the heat pump, and uh, how much it contributes, especially how much the solar panels contribute to that efficiency. So this, all this instrumentation right here, and actually you can look in here, is uh, keeping track of what the heat pump is doing, the temperatures, how much flow is going through it, and this is just a little computer that's uh, sending the information to our office where we can keep track of the heat pump. And actually we can look and tell that the pumps are running. The heat pump itself is not running right now, but it's circulating warm water through the ground. And it, this is telling me how the temperature that is coming out of the ground. It's 51 degrees coming out of the ground right now. This is going to tell me the temperature that's going to solar panels, 51 degrees, the same temperature is coming out of the ground. And it's coming off the solar panels at 82 degrees. So it's adding almost, yeah, well it's adding 30 degrees temperature to the liquid right now.